And it is most important that we realize our desires. I believe that it should be, and only truly can be, our main reason to get up in the morning. Our main reason why we breathe, live, laugh, and love. Having a desire in life is the only way to become truly alive. Because that idea you get all of a sudden, that desire, is a stream of energy which, to be honest with ourselves, we don't truly know where it comes from. Getting pushed by such a strong sense of accomplishment, pushing through our limits, because they are only limits in our head. There aren't any other limits, for there is no solidity in the universe. The observer, at all times, changes the facts in this constant flow of energy. You are always the observer. So keep your energy high, because you are limitless. What seem to be boundaries are in truth only your inner beliefs which keep you from going further and further and further. Beyond anything which seems possible, so far even that the impossible becomes just another boundary that you have conquered. Your mind is rich in imagination and possibilities which so graspingly astonishing that all the philosophers of mankind are struck in awe of all that might which we possess in ourselves, and can transform lives, can perform miracles, and can shatter any limits to bits and pieces. The conscious generates ideas and impresses these ideas onto the subconscious. The subconscious receives ideas and gives form and expression to them. Transcend your mind, and transcend your life. Your mind is at your command, so it can lead you to your desires. However, do not command like a tyrant, but rather like a lover. It will listen to you, and be the greatest helper you could have ever imagined. Dream it, believe it, and achieve it. Conquer yourself, and you shall conquer the world. For it is yours. Yes, the world is yours. They can't tell you what you can achieve and what not. They can't tell you what is real and what not. You decide for yourself. And whatever your desire may be, you don't give up on it until you have achieved it. For you are the observer. And how you look at the obstacles is what they then become to you. Think about that really carefully and let it sink into you. You know what they say, right? They say, be careful what you wish for, for it may come true, or it may not come true. Both the man who says he can and the man who says he can't are usually right. So which man do you want to be? Chance of accident are not responsible for the things that happen to you, nor is predestined fate the author of your fortune or misfortune. Your mind determines the conditions of your world. It is easier to ascribe your feeling to events in the world than to admit that the conditions of the world reflect your feeling. However, the truth is that the outside mirrors the inside. The outside mirrors the inside. Your world, in its every detail, is your consciousness objectified. Objective states bear witness of subconscious impressions. A change of impression results in a change of expression. Don't forget. First they will ignore you. Then they will laugh at you. Then they will fight you. And in the end, you win. Why? Because that is the greatest of great stories. No? That is the material of life, the essence of all. First dream your life, and then live your dream. That is what your imagination was meant for.